Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody guys, let's take a look again on the gold market. So here we have just minimum changes compared to recent session. The in general setup that we have suggested on the lower time frame has not been completed, so market has turned up a bit earlier than we thought. Ignoring intraday targets and the XOP that we discussed on hourly chart, but that makes sense only on the intraday charts. From the daily and in general with the overall background that we have, we do not have any significant changes. So in general, uh, market has some bearish uh, background. That's coming in two ways. And first is on the weekly chart, we have completed butterfly. Despite that action was really strong and fast, suggesting that that's after some time, market should keep going higher, which is great for our long-term view. But in the shorter term, market stands at the target and it's overextended, stands at every bot. So this combination suggests that at least some minor response, minor re reaction down, uh, just following the common sense should happen. Or at least this is not the great point for taking the new long position on the daily and weekly chart, if you are considering. On the daily chart, yesterday we already talked about this uh, bearish engulfing, uh, some kind of the bearish engulfing or uh, evening star pattern. As we said, it could take the shape of some kind of the ABCD pattern on the lower time frame. That's what we have. If you take a look at the 4 hour time frame chart, here we do not have something really interesting. So speaking about the double ripple pattern, right now I do not like that this was not a kind of the attempt to break to the upside, keep going higher, which is necessary to for, for the double ripple pattern. We have to see when you, when you would suggest a double repo, we have to see the capitulation of the bulls when the bulls are trying to pass uh, price, push price for the previous top and failed, which usually leads in some sharp reversal in, in the first drop. At this point, we do not see it. We see just some kind of the upper direction more in the way of the retracement after this downward direction. This significantly weaker bearish background. And after some time, if for example, market starts forming some symmetrical triangle, it even could turn into bullish. So that's the points that we need to keep an eye on. So currently I wouldn't speak about uh, double ripple passion here, because overall performance, as I said, doesn't correspond to it. On the hourly chart, uh, if we return back to the idea of this engulfing passion, we should get something of this kind, all right? So it should be some kind of the ABCD passion to the downside. It's completing around 21.30, which is the revive, which is actually very close to the support area uh, on the fall time from chart, right? On the fall time from chart right here. But with this recent performance yesterday is also, uh, I don't like this, some kind of the upper acceleration here and market has ignored the XOP target, which is also not very good for the bearish setup. Uh, although, if we take a look, for example, on the gold futures, you could see a very interesting performance on the fall time frame charts. Take a look, market is forming uh, some kind of the two candle bearish grubber when the market turns trend just for one candle and returns back down on another. Although it is not identified by as a grubber, in, in reality, this is a grubber. So if you take a look at it, in fact, by, by its uh, mechanics, by its content, by its content, this is bearish grubber, and it suggests for the downward action. So, from that standpoint, uh, it seems that the bearish context stands in stands in place. But whether to use it right before the PPI and retail sales numbers or not, you will have to decide by yourself. Um, of course, I would prefer small retracement after XOP has been completed and then the our continuation if we speak about the bearish context. Currently, you can see market hasn't reached the XOP, which is not good for the bearish, bearish context. Reaction here stands more or less extended. 
that makes weaker the bearish context as well and also as i said it might be symmetrical performance here if it will be some symmetric pennant it will be rather bullish rather than bearish context so with the, all the stuff in mind uh, just decide would you like to trade in the current environment or not or you wait for some or for, for that data release when information will come and background might be a bit more clear the current performance if you still decide to take the short position of course it would be better to uh, make it some closer to the invalidation point which stands right here um, if market will show some bit more reaction to the upside but aware of too fast and too uh, close reaction to the upside which will be really bad for for the bearish context as well uh, honestly speaking guys i do not find the current performance very interesting and inspiring for trading in any direction in the current circumstances in most cases i would wait but maybe you will see something else here in gold market think decide